नमस्कार अस्सलाम वालेकुम गुड मॉर्निंग जय श्री राम टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉट अप पोका योके पोका योके इज द यूज ऑफ ए डिवाइस और ए सिस्टम और ए मेथड वेयर यू हैव आइडेंटिफाइड द ह्यूमन एरर और दिस टूल्स दिस पोका योके द व्हिच रिसेंबल्स इन इंग्लिश मिस्टेक प्रूफिंग फेल सेफिंग इज स्टॉप्स द एरर टू हैपन और इफ इट कैन नॉट बी स्टॉप्ड इट्स मिनिमाइज देयर इंपैक्ट so there are five uh, similar situation where we should use this mistake proofing system the first one is if you have identified uh, a location a system a place where human error is quite obvious second when you are hand off or uh, transferring the system uh, the, to the another person third one is if you understand that the minimum error that you have done initially may cause higher impact at the end and the fourth one if the any error that is quite expensive poka yoke can be used in trading business where you know that customer can make mistake since you are in trading so it is quite difficult to ask to request to the customer that you cannot do this mistake but we implement here the mistake proofing system to avoid that customer's mistake in the in this system can be used in manufacturing in supply chain as well as into the uh, business where only the tradings are happening so in in all these three condition in all these three situation we can use this poka yoke to get uh, the relief from the any mistakes so let us see how it works so uh, when you are starting when you have identified that human error is quite obvious here error so in that condition you have to work on the mistake proofing so how to avoid this so for that they are saying first make a flow chart that how the process starts and it move on towards the end so when if you have the flow chart that's fine if you don't have then make it with the help of the expert in the initial state you have to mark that where the human can make an error then you have to find out the potential way to get remove or eliminate this mistake here you can use the uh, the error finding method root, root cause analysis then the third one is if the occur if the error occurs cannot be stopped like something that you cannot avoid so in that uh, case you have to find out how to minimize the impact how we can go with that whether without the major losses then the fourth one is choose the best mistake proofing method try it implement it so before implementing you need to go through out the inspection so these are the five situation where we are using the mistake proofing procedure now in the flow chart uh, when you have identified or marked that human error can place so what you can do to eliminate this so there are potential way uh, to make it impossible for the error to occur or to minimize the uh, minimize the impact so there are three potential way to remove this the people the audience who have seen my uh, uh, previous videos on risk elimination they can understand they can remind it very easily that there are three potential way to stop the error the first one is elimination either you remove that step you have uh, identified that human can do the mistakes here then there is replacement if you can't remove that then you can replace yani similar system you can implement there which has a lower impact then the third one in facilitation sometimes you cannot remove a system but you can uh, put an additional equipment additional person or additional resources to uh, remove or uh, minimize their impact so uh, then there is mistake proofing procedure uh, which is inspection like uh, when you have identified that this this is we can do then you have to do the inspection that how this uh, this is working and how it is minimizing or removing so there are in the inspection there are three inspection first is successive inspection uh, self in inspection and the third is source inspection so source inspection 
is quite important but we are starting with the successive inspection so successive ins inspection is done when a person uh, leaving their job and the second person is joining second person is duty that you have to inspect their job period the previous continuous job period like uh, i am not saying uh, that somebody is working from 5 years so the new the successive guys uh, have to look for the 5 years job but uh, it is like the shift change over or the day change over or somebody going for a short vacation and coming back at that time he has to look into the previous that what he has done and required to verify this that where this mistakes uh, have done or it is quite good and then the second is self inspection self inspection as, as i am saying always that you must have checklist for every job and when you join it on uh, the second time you have to review what you have done the last during that checklist if everything okay then you hand over if there is something wrong you need to inform to your successive and then the third is source inspection like something is coming from uh, quite long time or maybe 3 4 uh, days continuously it's coming in the system in the business customers are uh, continuously compl uh, complaining or in your supply you are not getting enough quantity or the enough quality then you have to do again here better to do the root cause analysis that means you go back look at the source where this problems coming from and then stop the error at the source thereafter after all these three functions we have two more functions that is called setting function and regulatory function so setting function mostly used in all the process and they are physical method then the second one sequencing method grouping method and information enhancement so here the first one is physical method physical method is like when you are uh, seeing to your product or producing your product you have to check it physically that what is its characteristic as well as the dimension like physically you are checking the dimension uh, maybe radius maybe length maybe the weight second one in that series is the sequencing method sequencing method is simply to check the order of the uh, events like uh, when you have done one job the what to be the next sometime uh, who is the people in the working stage who is the executive they skip some of the process by thinking that this will not impact uh, in the later stage but sometimes it become quite expensive to correct that mistake so we have to check the sequence of the job and if you feel that the sequence is uh, not necessary this step is not necessary in that sequence then you need to change your sop and then the third one is coming fixed value or the grouping grouping like uh, when you are producing in the bulk like i said that when we were producing johnson baby oil uh, 50 ml bottles 96 bottle in one bag we are packing them in the carton so how will you count the 96 bottle at every carton so for that in the group counting we implement one weighing scale and that is there with the weight of the number of the bottles of the quant uh, number of the quantity of the bottles and in that method in group you are counting the total number of bottles similarly in the combo system some similarly in the honeycomb you are putting 24 you are putting 36 so this all can be uh, group in a group can be weighted or can be counted so that is the grouping method then the fourth is uh, in information enhancement earlier stage uh, when we are supplying a material or when we are supplying a product uh, only bill of lading with the transport staff uh, it was mandatory but now they are adding coa which is quite mandatory that paper describes you the what is the product what is their dimension what is their characteristic and what is the impact of the um, this product if it is sold in the market so this is uh, this is information enhancement and then the uh, the last one is a regulatory function so regulatory function have two option either warning function or the control function 
so warning function is like uh, when there uh, is any mistake or any sequence is off then they are uh, making the alarm the sound the buzzer which will inform to the person who is in charge that there is something uh, has gone wrong so in that system there is color coding which uh, gives important to understand uh, that what the problem may be then the second one uh, the control function control function is in the micro sequence uh, sorry uh, sequencer or micro control uh, reflectors that uh, stop the problem uh, stop the system to move forward if the problems arises in that uh, process in that function so this is quite uh, good and to, uh, easy to understand this there is a problem in this sensor so its output is not coming and the operator goes to that location so however it must be followed by your uh, uh, scada to understand where this sequence has been stopped so this is easy and um, best method that they have implemented from last many years in the process in the manufacturing however uh, it is also implemented at the um, trading function where you or your truck is stopped if your some of the documents are missing so these are the control function when if the process cannot move forward so this is called control function uh, that's all for today and for the example i will come back into the next video because this video is going little longer thank you very much have a nice day